Hi, this is Shadi and today we will go and dive deep into the roots of particular throws that are found in Judo, their Jiu Jitsu roots. So in this video we're gonna go through the katas of Tenshin Shin Ryu, very similar to what we did with the chokes, but today it's gonna be a little bit about the throwing. So it's gonna be the katas of the Tenshin Shin Ryu and Kitoryu Jiu Jitsu. We're gonna go through old footage of both and see um, what kind of throws and how they developed and also uh, find out the real value of kata because a lot of people say you know kata is just a dance uh, kata will teach you absolutely nothing uh, it will teach you fake self-defense but that's not the case kata has a place indeed uh, after the age of 30, Kano Shihan devoted all his time basically to kata and developing his own Kodokan katas. So kata basically means form and it's teaching you the form of something, the basics for something. But in order to craft it and master it, of course, you have to do randori and hence why uh, most of the judo syllabus is randori and kata uh, mainly Tachiwaza or the stand-up kata followed by the newaza. So uh, today we're gonna see a little bit of forms and see how they might be applied in competition as well as the roots of particular throws. So katas, like I said, they're very important, uh, especially the old jujitsu katas because they have preserved not only tradition and etiquette but also techniques that could have been otherwise lost. So without further ado, Let's begin. Uh, the first one here we see is Tenshin Shin Ryu. We're gonna start with Tenshin Shin Ryu and finish with Kitto Ryu. So here we see the first technique is being done is none other than Ippon Seoe Nage. Let's check it again. Uh, it is being done very differently from what you see in Judo. It is being done from like a very uh, of a aggressive grip I would call it uh, more like a self-defense situation rather than you know what you see in judo like uh, kuzushi tsukuri and kake and also in randori um, the way uh, uke gripped and pushed down it is uh, technically illegal uh, you have to attack immediately it was just being done from a self-defense standpoint here you see Kuzushi, Tsukuri, and Kake, Ippon, Seoenage, one of the first that you will learn as a child. Um, now, moving on to the next technique, also uh, coming from a self defense situation in Kata, um, how to handle an upward strike is to block it, go to the side, and basically strike. You see this also in Gracie Jiu Jitsu in their self defense, uh, also in Aikido, and also in Nage no Kata with the Ippon Seonage. Here you see it's O Sotogari, but in uh, Judo, Kodokan Judo, you see Kuzushi is very big. You know how to unbalance someone, lifting them up and shifting their weight to one leg and then reaping it from underneath them. Um, the principles of kuzushi and also uh you know movement are very big in judo hence you see why judo looks far more fluent than the old jujitsu kata so here let's move on here we see it's another kata from tenshin shinyu ryu you see it is a yoko guruma uh, also coming from the self-defense and upward strike um you can see a lot of police footage be uh doing ippon seonage or any type of self-defense uh, from this particular strike or, or it's even a, a jab uh, here you see someone's trying to do like a hip technique whether it is ogoshi or harai goshi and it is being countered with yoko guruma again this is coming from a strictly grappling form while the old jujutsu kata they heavily favor or uh, emphasize self-defense it is a bit different this is coming from randori so moving on this is a sutemi waza please help me out if you have uh, any other suggestion i would like to call this a kind of like a mai wakare like yoko wakare but uh, in a masutemi waza form uh, I know Kodokan say in their footage that Yoko Wakare can also be done in a Masutemi form, not Yoko Sutemi, like a front um, sacrificing technique. Here we see it again. You have the leverage on the belt and also on 
um, like the lapel rather than using a leg like Tomoenage or Sumigaeshi. So this will uh, transition us to Kittoriyu as we see here. This is uh, a DVD done, I believe, uh, Uchino Yukishi, the uh, Tori. And here you see Kuzushi is very big in Kittoriyu, unlike Denshin Shin Ryu, and it transferred to uh, Kodokan Judo and it's transformed from there. You have all these uh, eight, uh, how do you say, eight directions, Kuzushi, and uh, you know, with movement as you see here. And then you go back, you create a lot of movement as you unbalance and then throw. A lot of people would say that this looks, you know, nonsensical and it doesn't work, but this is teaching you a very important principle. You unbalance and then you create a movement. And with that movement, you create a lot of i would say momentum and they can be thrown i'll show a competition example but first let me show you the technique yoko wakare or side separation um also if you go to this particular video of the kodokan and you would see a lot of comments that this would never work uh etc but we have to see the principles that it is trying to teach us one variation of yoko wakare is actually ude gaishi one of the best techniques it can be done in neiwaza in judo but uh, standing it has become banned uh, it is being done in bjj ironically so uh, does it work absolutely it has something to teach you it's uh, it can be done i would say uh, as a counter you know someone's trying to uh, take you give you their back and trying to throw you you can go down for your kawakari i'll show an example here also a kodokan example here is someone trying to go for ogoshi you roll or someone lifts you for ippon serenage you go down and a side sacrificing motion uh, here you see the it looks kind of like in ukiwaza but you are actually blocking with yourself in ukiwaza you open up and then leave your leg on the ground it's not to block but actually here in Yoko Wakare, you actually block with your uh, entire upper body. Here is a counter of Deashi Harai. Uh, if like a half Deashi Harai have failed, you go down and finish with Yoko Wakare. Let's see this principle of doing Kuzushi and really keeping someone moving like we saw in the Kittori Yukata. And here we see, for example, a Kata Guruma being done in this manner, absolutely flowing. And this is uh, relying on the same principle as you saw in the Kittori Yukata. Here we see it's another technique, also relying on movement and uh, being dropped an Uki Otoshi. Uh, here we see again, you go, you open up and then you let them go down let's see it again this is uki otoshi the first ever technique of uh, nage no kata and uh, it is a tewaza or hand technique so here we see the kodokan doing it from the sleeve and lapel opening up uh, rather than going down on just one knee you can also do it do it uh, standing up as you see here uh, it is one of the hardest to pull off since there's no leverage created by the legs or the hips there's also sumi otoshi which was uh, uh, mifune's favorite technique or invented this technique called also kuki nage here let's see it in nage no kata going down on one knee very reminiscent to what kano sensei learned in kitoriyu jujutsu so here we see it and finally the the last technique is Seo Otoshi, dropping down on one knee, pulling down and dropping Uke. A lot of people say when you drop down on your knees, whether it is one or two, it is Seo Otoshi, it's no longer Seo Nage. But if you do it standing, it's Seo Nage. Um, this is not always the case. When you go down, you can also still do uh, Seo Nage and I will demonstrate it. Uh, and prove to you so here let's see say otoshi it can be done with two knees and also one knee but let's see it here you actually go down your hips stay pinned you don't use them to project you just pull down with your hands you are dropping you are not throwing like serenage here we see uh, another angle of it he drops down on two knees just pulls his arms down his hips stay uh like locked almost here it can be done also on one knee 
Seo Otoshi. The fact that you drop down is not, uh, doesn't make it automatically Seo Otoshi here. Let's see Seo Nage dropping down and then you lift your hips up in order to create uh, the throwing movement. You are not just pulling down, you are lifting with your hips and then finishing the movement with your hand. Let's see competition examples. Let's see Anne here, he drops down and lifts and when he when Anne drops down and does this like running movement, this is Sayonage because he's using his hips to project here. This is a great example of Seo Otoshi Ono in the Rio Olympics. His hips stay uh, where they are he just pulls down with his hands that's the difference between Serenage and Seo Otoshi when you drop down it's not the fact that you drop down that makes it Seo Otoshi it's actually what you do with the hips if they stay still then it's Otoshi if you use them to raise Uke up and project them and throw them hence it's Serenage the name is the as they say the proof is in the pudding you know you just have to know what the name actually means so this is why um how can o sensei name them it's very important so uh, if you have anything else to add let me know down below also i will leave a link in the description below if you want to read more about kittoriyu jujitsu it's a link that has multiple links so you can watch and enjoy um, also consider supporting me on patreon i have exclusive content for the patrons only i post once a week and also check out josh simon's shop for historical t-shirts and historical articles this was Shadi and as always, thank you for listening.